What's up, guys? This is Justin. I'm here with Sam. Yep, and a very creepy version of Link. <laughs> with with uh, Bunny Mask Link and a creepy doll Link. Um, we are playing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the N64. Um, it is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. The best um, game ever made. Yeah, it's way up there. For uh, some people. It's Nintendo's 125th anniversary, and so to celebrate, we're doing Let's Plays of uh, 125 of Nintendo's best games. Mm -hmm. Majora's Mask, some people might disagree. We say it absolutely is one of the games that makes the cut. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's people in the office who this is their favorite Zelda game, including one Colin Moriarty. It's very divisive. It's it, it's very much kind of a love it or hate it game, I yeah. would say. Um, so I'm going to try to show you guys a reason to love it, though. Yeah. And that's this amazing Sky it, Temple I'm going in. It's not Goron Link? Ah, well, <laughs> Goron Link is pretty amazing. Goron Link and his drum set? Yep. Uh, so Majora's Mask uh, had the big famous twist of the three-day time limit, where, you know, it, it's a very, very dark Zelda game. I would say this is actually the darkest and, you know, most risk-taking Zelda game. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it is. And it, it's kind of like the uh, the portable games are always the crazy games, but this is actually a console game that's kind of crazy and out there. Like like Link's Awakening has yeah. Kirby in it. And yeah, that's it actually a, a really... goat that's in love with a woman and, and stuff like that, like stranger stuff than the straight-up fantasy Zelda games. Yep, you're totally right. The handheld Zelda have always felt a little bit more off the rails and strange and weird and funny and Majora's Mask definitely had that vibe about it but it was on a mainline you know console game um and of course you can transform into all these different races in this yeah. game which actually gives you know it takes away a lot of your powers and it, I think it bothered a lot of people it's really interesting this game came out in 2000 for the N64 and it required the N64 expansion pack because it was doing things yeah. graphically what's funny is that now that you know 15 almost 15 years have passed when I look at this it looks just like Ocarina of Time <laughs> but I'm sure at the time, you'd be like, oh, this game's so incredible, and it's doing things graphically that you could never have imagined, like a Zelda game. Even game. stuff like this, like these transformations, look, looked really good, just because the art direction yeah. was nice. They didn't need to be high-res or anything. So, it looks really cool. Are you, are you still puzzle-solving to get in this dungeon? Yeah, I'm almost there. Okay, so... <laughs> Him pulling out his like Zora guitar totally just threw me for a loop. I lost I know. my train of thought. Oh, the Zora can really move in this game. Like you get, there's yeah. a whole water temple where the, you just cruise through it. It's, it's very a, strange. It's much much better than Ocarina of Time. The central water conceit temple. of this game we should talk about. Yeah, is that's masks. exactly what I was going to bring yeah. up. Well, there's two central conceits. The first is that it's famous sort of three day time limit. The world is ending in Ocarina of Time, which is a big deal. Like that's kind of crazy and weird yeah. and strange. And you only have three in game days. Which how long is the? Is it three hours or one hour? Do you remember uh, how long it's it is? three days. Yeah, I know, but, but like, each, in each, real time. Yeah, I don't know what the real time is. I wish I did know that, but I don't, I don't think I ever have known that. But you have a little bit of time, right? And so the deal is you can make as much progress as you can before the moon crashes into Termina, uh, which is another interesting thing yeah. about this game. You're not in Hyrule. Uh, you're in this other world called Termina. Um, and you make as much progress as you can, you know, get masks, complete dungeons, and then you have to reset and go back to the beginning, and you get to keep some of the stuff that you made. And everyone in the game sort of followed these three-day routines, and you would go into people's homes and find them sort of cowering and spending their last minutes with their family. Or, you know, there was all these little side stories to sort of uncover and figure out based on how, yeah. you know, the residents I of mean, this world. I mean, there's side plots like there's aliens in the game. Yeah. It's yeah. so crazy. There's all kinds of – since the whole game takes place over three in-game days, are you still trying to figure out? Well, so do you see what happened? Oh, <laughs> I put them all oh. there, but that's not the puzzle. Oh. Well, maybe we should just run around. You should go to yeah. the snowy – what's sure. the name of the snowy area? So th since it has this three-day – you know, the whole game takes place over three days, what's interesting is everyone in the game has a routine. Yeah. And you'll find them at different spots. Sorry, do you want me to – there you go. You no, know. I got it. You'll find them at different spots. I've like, played this game a really long time, but I'm doing pretty well considering, I yeah, think, right now. No, considering you haven't played it in probably ten years. Yeah. So you can go to, you know, different characters on day one or doing things on day three, or they might be in denial on day one and that's anything ha anything's happening. And there's all these little side stories to sort of uncover and figure out, in addition to sort of the traditional Zelda you know, dungeons funny, and puzzle solving. You know, I played this game originally not knowing that there's this, like, giant notebook feature which keeps <laughs> track of, like, all yeah. these all these different aspects of the timeline and stuff. I just never used it. All the it, side plots. And it's super helpful. Yeah, it's super interesting. Even, I mean, even now, it's this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my, look, look at this. this. Look at how cool this is. Yeah. What makes this game so interesting mm -hmm. is that a you so have this a, is every character in the game and what and they're you, doing on all three days. And essentially, Link takes these notes about yeah what they're doing. And so what every makes day. this so interesting is that a it's just really interesting from a storytelling standpoint. There's never been a Zelda game like this before or after, but it's also interesting from a puzzle solving standpoint. If you can solve these people's problems, you know you'll get pieces of heart and other items and other masks, and then, you know yeah. It, it, you go back and forth in this time period to sort of play a Zelda game in a way that's different than any other Zelda game you've ever played. You know what's interesting oh, is oh, that oh, uh, <laughs> a lot of the uh, a lot of the characters in this game cleverly and assets essentially are yeah. reused from Ocarina of Time, but those characters and they're kind of like the Bizarro version. Yeah, of exactly. Character. They're like the Bizarro version of the characters from Hyrule, and it gives the game this really sort of dreamlike, almost psychedelic. Uh, and minor characters are actually major characters in this, like the uh, Skull Kid. Yeah. He's the yep. major character in this. He's just a, a kid in the forest in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, for sure. Um, you were starting to say the other central conceit of this game, and people are seeing it right now in action if they never played Majora's Mask. I'm trying masks. to do this jump. I was trying to do this earlier. Yeah, I know. If you don't, there's still a fail safe if you don't make it. Yeah. Um, whoop. Oh, you did it. You're a professional. Yeah. So it, the big thing about Majora's Mask is the mask system. There's four major masks, and you just saw the Goron mask. We saw the Zoran mask earlier. And they, uh, you know, when Link uses one, he gets a whole different set of skills and powers, and it's used for, you know, solving puzzles and, you know, traversing dungeons and all the kind of normal dungeon stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's all these kind of, I don't know what you would call them, like optional masks or side masks. The whole game is sort of built around this central. And they're, and they're so cool. They help solve puzzles and stuff, too. But, like, the bunny mask and a couple other masks are actually in... Uh, Ocarina of Time, but they actually have effects in this, which I think is great, because yeah. they're just part of the trading game of Ocarina of Time. But Bunny Mask makes you run faster. I yeah. love being able to run faster. Yeah. I think that's the best thing ever, and Link looks so cute. Look at him. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Uh, so the one thing that's really neat about the areas in this game is yeah. that if you solve the temple area, like kind of beat the area, it transforms to something different. So in this area, it's all winter, but if you beat the boss in within the span of the three days, it turns into like this summery mm -hmm. version of it with like pine trees and stuff. And the game also does clever ways of, you know, it strikes a balance between when you go back to uh, day one, when you have to sort of go back, like the progress that you get to keep versus the progress that you lose. Like it doesn't kind of a smart way. Like it, it doesn't make you lose literally everything. Like if you traverse an area, sometimes at the end of it, you unlock a shortcut so that you don't need to do that yeah. over and over again. It does, however, like take away your arrows and bombs yeah. and stuff like that, which, which is is cute, but it can be it can be irritating. There's definitely like Majora's Mask. It's oh, I should show people the uh, cool sword we were just talking about. Oh, yeah, you should the fairy sword. Um, yeah, the great fairy sword is the best sword in this game, but um, you can only use it as part of your C your yeah, C stuff. Your it's C so item. funny C that buttons. it's it's a C button item instead yeah. of like an actual sword. So you have your great fairy sword and your sword equipped but, basically yeah, at the same time. Yeah, exactly. But you can't do. Um, very basic stuff like a jump attack yeah. or a charge attack or anything. It's just this giant. It's like a Deku stick. Yeah. It's a really overpowered yep. OP Deku <laughs> stick. <laughs> that's actually um, that's actually a great analogy. Um, one of my memories of Majora's Mask, and this is sort of the the good and bad of the three day time limit, is the first time I played the oh, game. Put that on. I can't put on the fierce fierce yeah. TV mask out here. One of the things you have to do at the very beginning of the game is find these kids in, uh, you know, the town in the main town. It's just sort of a tutorial thing. You do it at the very start of the game. There's these five kids sort of hidden around playing hide and seek, and I couldn't find one. And I'm looking, 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 can't find. It's them. like the cuckoos in. Uh, yeah. In. Uh, Ocarina of Time. And I never did find him, and time ran out, and the moon crashed, and the game ended, and I had to do it all over again, and it made me so mad when I was a little kid, so... Yeah, you, you do really have to... You No matter what, you replay the same stuff over and over again, and juggling that is kind of stressful. Yeah, it's definitely got... That's exactly the word I was going to use, is that this there's an element of stress in Majora's Mask that's not present in any other Zelda game. Um, and that's why some people didn't like it, is that Zelda is all about going at your own pace and just explore and experiment and try things, and Majora's Mask really challenges that notion. Yeah. Um, it's sort of like the reason that some people hate it is the reason other people love it. Like another Goron jump. Yeah, wow. Uh, do you want to see any other areas? Yeah, oh, I mean, that's not. I thought that was just <laughs> water. Nope, not water. Yeah, let's hop around to one more spot. Okay. You can't use the, the... you At the end of the game, you unlock Fierce Deity Link, which uh, there's a lot of fans of out there, but you, yeah. and there's a... A way we're actually playing on a Nintendo or a, an a, actual N64 a cartridge right yeah. now, and you can like do this thing where you roll through a crack in the wall, and something else with like you pull the cartridge out. There's like these tricks you can do to basically play, play as Fierce Deity Link yeah. anywhere you want. 
Did you? Is it, uh, maybe oh, I should, should I go to the coast or? Oh uh, yeah, go to the coast. Um, is Majora's Mask available on Virtual Console? If someone's watching this and didn't play it when they were, let me yep, look it up. It is. Uh, it's on, available on Wii Virtual Console, according to the page I've opened now. I don't yeah, know about. There's Wii a U. really nice version of this on GameCube Disc. Oh, see, I actually didn't think. Version. I thought that version was kind of glitchy. I thought it had sound issues. It might, but the graphics are really, really nice on it. It's true. It's it does just, run at a little bit higher resolution. Yeah, the, on a virtual console, looks nice too. This is a game before this. This area is in uh, Smash Brothers. There's, oh yeah, there's a fighting. It is. I never Brothers. made that connection before. Yeah. How funny. Yeah. Um, just look at how weird this game is and strange. I'm like gonna, it, I know. It's it so just weird. looks and feels different than every other Zelda game with just areas like this. I think it's kind of interesting to take a game and then say, hey, we got to reuse a lot of this because we want to put out a sequel, but it has to be as different as you yeah. can possibly imagine making it. Well, it's like, yeah, normally when you see a game that's reusing character models, reusing music, reusing textures and stuff, it just feels like it gives it sort of this cheesy feel, but Oc or Majora's Mask is exactly the opposite. Like, it reused things in this crazy, smart way. Yeah. Did you see me rocking out in the water there? I did. The the moving around in the water with the Zora Oh, we mask. can hear some, something neat. The... Uh, the the bell when you go underwater has that weird water yeah. echo effect. Yeah, that's really clever. Um, Majora's Mask. I was remarking before we recorded. This is a game 100% in need of like an HD remake or like another shot at. I, like it's a great game, but like you said, the taking away of the arrows and stuff like that. Like I wish it just smoothed out some of the game's rough edges and gave people another chance to experience this Zelda adventure. So however long that was was the length of one day. There you go. And yeah. you can slow down time, interestingly. I don't think the game tells you this, but you can slow down time by playing the Song of Time from Ocarina of Time, do-do-do, no, backwards. I think it tells you. I think that's something that you unlock or, like, they go through, like, I'm after sure. you play it. I think it's, it's kind of a secret, but, yeah. Or you can make it go faster. Yeah, I guess I don't remember if it's a secret or not. You I can, remember. Oh. You can, like, run to the end of a day to save. Or you can also talk to a statue Look at the like-like. Like. I know, they're terrifying. They're I so hate, I hate yeah. like likes. They're so scary in this game compared to, uh, like, the SNES Zelda. They're not as scary when you have light arrows. That's true. Wow. Look at him. He's totally suffering. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. He's not <laughs> suffering. He's not <laughs> suffering <laughs> enough. Uh, Sam, you're enjoying the heck out of Majora's Mask, but we got to go. Okay. Um, we're doing more. Pink rupee. Oh, you did get a pink rupee. Look at that. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying this sort of Nintendo nostalgia trip that we're taking you on. We're playing a lot more Nintendo games for Nintendo's 125th anniversary. So for all things Nintendo, always remember that you can keep it locked to IGN.